Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Dimba and today we are going to part two of power transmission or telecommunication tower structure modeling and we'll get started right away. If you take a look on the screen, you can see I'm, I've already gone beforehand here. I've gone a step, slightly a step higher just to cut down on time. Now, if you take a look on the screen, once again, you can see points already in place. I'll show you how to place this. First of all, I placed a point yeah, at, at uh, the bottom end here and a, and a point at, at, the at the bottom end on this side. And you can so also see the ori orientation of my XYZ plane. So these two points, what I did, I just clicked on, on one of it, on one of them, and uh, right click and, and uh, it came straight to, uh, to copy special and uh, clicked linear. So the moment I clicked linear right there, I fared five meters. and. Uh, the reason why I fed five meters is because I wanted to give it an offset of five meters going up, up to this position. Same thing I did on this side, give a, you know, to give an offset of five meters up here. Then I uh, we went straight and uh, placed a member right there. Then got a midpoint right there and uh, placed another member from the midpoint here, running all the way to the bottom end here, and marked and created as. Uh, I created a center point from this end and a center point from this end. I got this point. Then I got a midpoint between this point and this point to get to get this point. Then again, I did the same to this point to this point. I create uh, uh, to get a midpoint between these two points. That's why that's how I came with these points along this member and along this five meters. Now the where we are going to we are going to now start bracing our a steel tower now i'll close this right click and, and come to interrupt interrupt here i mean we are exiting that active command our current command i'll click on it then i'll go straight away to to steel here i'll come to steel beam by clicking this drop down arrow here i'll click on uh, on steel beam here i'll uh, then i'll be prompted with variety um, i mean five choices here i'll go with the first option which is beam we want to create a beam and we'll, we'll click on beam right there then i'll zoom out i want to start bracing this structure here now let me just start that by snapping on this point and going straight to that point. Make sure you zoom close and uh, snap on the on the exact spot or point. I'll snap. I'll snap on that spot. Then on the same spot, I'll snap on that spot once again and zoom out and target another point as my guidelines. Now I'll snap right here once again and again snap on the sp on the same same spot and go to another point right here. I'll snap on this spot right there and snap on it again to create another member right from that point and zoom out and go all the way to this to this end. I'll snap right here. Then again snap on the same same spot. Then target another point that I placed as a guideline in creating these bracings. I'll snap right there and snap on it once more and go all the way to this end. There's a point that should be here, but I haven't placed it. Now what I'll do, I'll just right click and come to interrupt to exit this command of member placement or bracing. Now I'll go straight away and uh, place a midpoint between these two points. Now what I'll do, I'll come to point, uh, I mean, I'll come to edit right there. Then uh, after clicking edit, I'll be able to access these command points. Then under these points, I'll be able to click or just go straight and click this drop down arrow. You'll be prompted with variety of options of creating points. But what you want to do, to create is uh, a midpoint between these two points. And what you, what can help us in creating that midpoint is the first option, which is online point. I'll click on that. Then I'll zoom close to the first point here. I'll snap on this point right there and go all the way to the other end and click on that point here. Having executed that, I'll be able to, to place my midpoint between these two points. Now, I'll go on with the bracing. I'll come back to beam here and click on beam, then snap on this spot here. 
right here and go all the way to this point that i have just created right now there we are i've created a placed a member right there so this is what we're having this is a small brace we are bracing this tower now now having done that we are not we want now to connect this member to this column this i mean to connect these braces to our tower now i'll come to applications and component here i'll click on this uh, uh, button then i want to use this macro called bolt bolted gusset and it's also numerically known as 11 number 11 you just go here and type 11 and these options will come and we'll go with the first option which is bolted gusset now i'll click on bolted gusset then i want to now start joining this member to to bracings to i want just to uh, start bracing these members i'll click on this member and click on it and click on this on this member and you realize the moment i click on it all other columns are also in selection and we don't want that to happen i'll go on what i'll do i'll just go straight here and disable the assembly i'll come to this button and click on it this will disable the assembly now when i right click and come to interrupt and come back once again when i mouse over this you'll be able to see this is selected in isolation of other members now I'll come back to bolted gasset and, and click on it and come to this member and click on, on this then click on this then press my mute button on the mouse and you'll be able to see this braced or connected to the main column now i'll click on this this and this and press my mute button on the mouse and you see the connection created i want to also to connect this and this and i'll go ahead and press my mute button on the mouse and you, you you'll be able to see the gasset play, uh, plate placed to connect this member and these bracings i'll click on that this and that and press my mute button and connection is created automatically without any headache i'll click on that once again and we get a connection right there and go all the way to this end in this case at this end we'll not connect uh, no the one that will not create connection is the one on the top here because we, st we still need this accurate point or a snapping point which will assist us in creating other members going upward now we'll go ahead and create a connection here we'll connect this member this member this and this and press our mid button right there and come here and connect these three members and press my mid button on the mouse and connection will be created automatically now I'll, cl I'll click on that once again click on this press my mid button right there and I'll do the same thing here. And prior to doing that, we want now to mirror this on the other end. What I'll do, I'm now ready to, to lose these points. I'll go straight away now and right click and redraw. Uh, I mean, click on empty screen and come to redraw. That will refresh everything and remove anything that shows, that, uh, shows any active macro. Now we want to mirror this the other end and uh, we want to use some uh, um, just a mirror line here so to create that mi mirror line we'll need a point here we'll need a member that will help us in defining the mirror line now i'll place a member here from that spot and this spot and i'll right click and come to interrupt just to terminate that uh, terminate that uh, member creation now we are we, we are we are and i'll go straight here and, and select everything right there and press control and select all the members that i intend to meet on the other end and we, if you take a look you can see also see we've selected the grid line and grid line don't need we don't want to mirror it on the other end what we'll do just press control and deselect it having selected everything that we want to meet on, the, on this end i'll right click I'll right click and come to special copy and prior to doing that we ha we have to change the orientation of our XYZ plane 
Now I'll come to view here and come straight to work plane tool and click that drop down arrow here and come to the first option which is work plane tool. This will assist us in uh, real, I mean changing the work plane of uh, changing the work plane to help us in defining the mirror line for our for our copying command. Now having selected the first option now, if I mouse over this member, you'll be able to see a plane is being placed. Now, I'll click on this member. I'll place my X, Y, Z plane here. I'll right-click and exit that work plane tool. Then I'll go straight away and, and come to copy special and pick mirror. Then zoom close to target the midpoint of this member because we want to use this member to define a mirror line or uh, a midpoint that will be defining our, our mirror line i'll snap on that spot and snap at the bottom end here the moment i i mouse over at the bottom end here you can see uh, a right angle sign is created up here you can see that uh, shows it is straight is 90 degrees now i'll click on it and you can also see it's negative 90 degrees you can see the angle right here what i'll do now i'll go straight away away and invoke and in, in, invoke the copy command by clicking this copy button and click on it and go straight away and accept that by clicking okay right here and i'll right click once again and interrupt interrupt means you are exiting that current command and you can see this on the other end and uh, also this one what had just happened is that our mirror line was not properly defined so what we'll do i'll go back and undo everything here and uh, turn this round so that i can now define properly my mirror line define the proper location of my mirror line now i'll go ahead and delete this member once I've deleted it, I'll come back to steel here and click on beam. I'll click on beam and I want to pick a midpoint from here. From here. Let me just uh, bring it close. Let me just bring it close and I'll snap right there. And stretch all the way to the other end and target another point. Let me just bring it close. Let me just bring it close, that close and snap right there. I'll right click and come to interrupt. Now, when I come to when I right click and come to when I right click and come to when I right click and come to uh, copy command, I'll be able to uh, when I mouse over this member, I'll be able to to snap on a midpoint on its midpoint to define a mirror line. Let me just turn this round. Let me just turn this round like that. Turn that round, right click, interrupt. Now I can select everything here. Let me just select everything right there and press control, uh, control and deselect that member and deselect this member. Now what do we want to do? We'll come back to work plane tool and uh, uh, change this work plane tool. We'll mouse over this and click on that, right click and exit by clicking interrupt right click once again and come to special copy and come to mirror once you've done that we'll come close to this member and define a midpoint here we snap right there and go all the way to the bottom end here and snap right there and click copy and accept that click ok right click and come to interrupt right here and you can see that already mirrored on the other end now what we'll do we'll just delete this member and come all the way to this end and do a similar thing the other end here we are and we've copied that one the other end now we'll, we'll right click we'll right click and come to redraw to refresh everything and select everything here 
press control and deselect any member that you, you don't I mean just select everything want to select everything here just select everything press control and deselect members that you don't you don't want to copy the other end click on that these are the members these are the only members we want to copy on the other section now here we are and we want to reorient our xyz plane we'll come back to view and come back to and come to plane and uh, place our work plane tool to global position there it is right click and come to interrupt and uh, come back again to special copy and come to mirror and now we want to mirror this from this point we want to create our mirror line from this end we want to define our, our, our mirror line from here and zoom out zoom out and go all the way up here and go all the way up here go all the way up there they're up there and then go straight and click copy and click OK to accept that command there we are that has been done and zoom out as you can be able to see what you've just created then we can do a similar thing the other end this end and turn this round without, without deselecting everything that right there we'll right click and come to interrupt then right click and come to special copy here and come to mirror and we will zoom close and snap at the bottom end here to, to define our mid point or our, our mirror line I'll zoom close let me just bring it close here and land snap right at the bottom end here and stretch all the way to a point that uh, snap at a point which I'll be able to define a midpoint or a mirror line I'll snap right there you can see the angle changing to negative 35 I mean 31 35 to negative 35 now I'll go ahead and click copy and click OK to accept the result I'll click OK right there and right click and come to interrupt and that's it you can see that it has been copied now I'll right click click on empty screen right click and come to redraw and come back to that member I'll turn this round like this so that I can have a clear view of this member right click and uh, I'll be able to select everything right here and press control while selecting the members that have been uh, left out I'll press control and deselect the grid line because we don't want to mirror the grid line I'll turn it round so that so that I'll be able to so that I'll, I'll be able to define my mirror mirror point uh, with ease I'll right click and come to interrupt then right click once again and come to special copy right here and click mirror then I'll zoom out to target this bottom end here I'm targeting this bottom end here right at the bottom end here and I'll click on that spot zoom out zoom out and go all the way to this end go all the way to this end and I'll snap right here right there it's negative 45 let's just give it an okay copy click copy and click on okay right here right click and come to interrupt and it has copied everything has been copied at the end right click and click redraw now if I bring it close you can see what has just happened here we are now the next thing we're going to do we, we are going to place the base split the base split we just type base split then uh, we'll pick on the base split this option here double click on it first of all to access its window so that we can uh, feed in our preferred dimensions Fortun fortunately enough I have my presets here I've already made it and cl I just click on base split and click load the settings that I made once I've done that I'll go straight first of all let me just share this with you I'll come to parts here you can see what I used parameters and general and bolts here these are the settings I you can also go to to default you can also change some defaults here change this 
put it on site I mean workshop and uh, you need a washer right there and that's all just go ahead and click modify apply and accept that and now we'll target this click on that and snap it right at the bottom end here and we've created a plate right there come all the way to, to this end and snap snap right here and snap at the bottom end here and a plate has been created and we'll go all the way to the other end and we'll, we'll turn this round uh, slightly right click and come to interrupt still our command is active we'll click on it then uh, snap at the bottom end here accurately perfect now I'll go the other side and do a similar thing I'll turn this round turn that round turn that round right click and exit our command is still active and will snap right at the bottom end here that's been created and what we'll do we'll just uh, switch to plan view right click click on empty screen right click and come to redraw to refresh everything uh, fit to work area and this is what we have you take a view from the top this is what you will be able to see now let me just switch back to the previous view and this is what we're having now and now let me just connect this want to connect that that is the wrong command the wrong macro i'll just go back here and type 11 and i uh, want this i want this bolted gasset and i want to connect this to this and press my middle button on the mouse that to that my, my middle button on the mouse and the connection has been created and that is the wrong step i want to connect this to this and press that which is not right i'll undo that undo that come here right click and redraw i'll come back to redraw and turn that round and go all the way to this end and try and connect this one to the other end i want first of all to pick the main part you can see also you can see here pick the main part this is the main part and this is the secondary part I'll, and i'll press my middle button the mouse i'll click once uh, once again and click on this as my main part then click on this a secondary part and see that connection created i'll go all the way here and click this as the main part and click this as secondary part and press on middle button the mouse and do the same thing here and do and pre and create that as simple as that let's connect this click that and click on this then press your middle button on the mouse to create that connection simply as that and do a similar thing here click on this then click on this and press your middle button on the mouse and see how this is behaving we'll right click and redraw i'll undo that that's not right now from there i think we can now do this by yourself please try doing this by yourself uh, then we meet on the next presentation where we'll be now moving to the next we'll be moving up by placing our bracings different designs of bracings you know as as we go higher we'll not be using the same bracings at the bottom end here same bracings at the bottom end here will not be similar the bracing at the bottom end here will not be similar with the bracing on top here so you'll be seeing it on every part how it changes and how we connect and how the ladder will be created right from the center here i mean how to access the far end or the very top height of this tower now today let's wind up on that spot while i let you try to do this by yourself if you have any question please just feel free and post it on uh, this channel i'll be able to respond back to you i think promptly thanks a lot for watching this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and let's meet on the next presentation i'm morris dimba and bye bye